Let's do it. It's time for follow and follow. Yeah! We're gonna go uh, over uh, some people, and you're gonna decide which one you're gonna follow and which one you're gonna unfollow. You gotta commit to it. Me? You <laughs> yeah. and okay. all of us. All right. Okay. We'll start off with the first one. Demi Lovato and Wilmer Valderrama. They split up after six yeah. years. Who are we gonna be loyal to? I love Wilmer. He's a boy. He's a friend of mine. So I'm gonna oh. go with Wilmer. Wilmer. Okay. Uh, the rest of you guys. I, I'm a huge Wilmer guy, too. I, I love Fizz, I love the character, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> that 70s show is just like, he's such a classic human being for me. And Demi Lovato, I don't like her music, so oh. there it is. Like, sorry, Demi. Sorry, I'm on the opposite end. I prefer Demi as an artist more than Wilmer, so I'm going to follow Demi, and I'm going to unfollow Wilmer. Whoa, OK. I'm That's gonna, cold, Demi. Yeah. Sorry. That is so Good. <laughs> I'm going to follow both of them because they're both super talented. Ah, uh, there you go. There you I didn't go. know yes. that was an option. That was Wait, not an option. Okay, that's my option, <laughs> yeah. too. I'm going to follow both. The Demi, I don't know your music, but I'm sure she's now, mad talented, though. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. her. Great yeah. voice. She has a great yeah. voice. Next one, Ed Sheeran versus Martin Harrington and Thomas Leonard. According to Legal Doc, Sheeran's photograph, the song photograph, blatantly copied huge chunks of the song Amazing written by Harrington and Thomas for The X Factor. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, it's amazing how much those two songs sound alike. But I will say that in music, you're often inspired by other pieces of music. And I can see they're both in E-flat. They both have the same uh, cadence to the song. Uh, but I'm, gonna, I'm on team Ed Sheeran for this, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with uh, Ed Sheeran. I'm not sure, though. I have to listen to the song first. It's okay. And then they sound very, very they similar. Do. They sound incredibly similar. So they I'm going to listen to them, and then I'm going to make my decision. Yeah. So right now, I'm following them. I'm just going to go with Ed Sheeran because I know more about him than the yeah. other dudes. I have no clue who the other people are. <laughs> They're songwriters. Yeah. Okay. They, 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 you know the songs. They've written songs for Kylie Minogue, okay. the Backstreet yeah. Boys. Mm -hmm. They're well known. Okay. Yeah. I'm also, I think I'm on Ed Sheeran's team too because a lot of artists run into this issue. All well, the time. All man. the time. All and the it time. happens. And people... By the way, Mozart sampled from Bach. Absolutely. And Beethoven sampled from Mozart. This has been going on for the beginning of music. And so get Ice. over it, people. Yeah. <laughs> well, Vanilla Ice uh, uh, sampled from who? Was it uh, David Bowie and uh, yeah. the guy from Queen? It's a compliment. You know, it's, a, it's, it's a flattery. Thank you very much. We're, Millie, we're Millie so happy in this country. <laughs> Everybody's suing everybody. <laughs> Second, Maria and, Sharapova versus the International oh Tennis Federation. God. Maria was caught, uh, oh, no, you know, man. failing a drug test. Uh, I guess she was on steroids or something, but she's saying that she wasn't. That it she wasn't some steroids. It was, it, was a, it was a medical, it was, a, it was something that her doctor gave her that she didn't know. She claims she didn't know it was banned. So, um, you know, I, I'm, gonna, I'm on Team Maria with this, man, because I, I know Maria. I've worked mm. with her before. I don't think that she would do something that would intentionally deceive the Tennis Federation or her fans, because mm. I know how much she loves her fans and how much she loves the game. So I, I think agree. that she didn't know what she was doing, and I think she got caught in a really tough situation. You know, admittedly, I didn't know much about this, but after hearing you, I'm down to support Maria. There I think you go. because you know her and I, you know, now I have a reliable source, I think she's a great tennis player and, and evidently she's a good person, so I don't think, I don't think she'd do that. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. after true. hearing your words, Louis, I agree with you. I don't think she would put her endorsements in line because she lost so much money as a result of this. And anybody can make a mistake like that. They just changed the law up recently. Like, Heck, I forget certain things, and oh. you know, like in terms of my bills and whatnot. I mean, imagine something as sensitive as uh, you know a drug ban or whatnot. But it was a performance supplement that she knew would improve her game. But I don't think she knew that it was illegal to take. So I don't think she would je ever jeopardize not just her right. endorsement deals, but her career her fans and, and a sports that she a sport that she loved. I mean, Correct. she's been playing that sport since she was a little girl. Well, this you know? is happening with a lot of MMA fighters because they're doing really stringent testing where they're taking a supplement and not everything is listed. Right. So if there happens to be some something. That's ingredient. Banned. An ingredient. So I don't think people are cheating on purpose. But I think you know the what? lesson here is to actually, actually research and know exactly what it is you're putting into your right. body yeah. before you take it. Yeah. And you know, I, I think, I, don't you have a responsibility as an athlete to be like super vigilant, super vigilant, vigilant. about everything that you're taking, wow. though, guys? Well, she's so Seriously. busy practicing. I no. know, <laughs> but that's why you surround yourself with a team. That's right. So and she does have a team. You're absolutely right. So it's their responsibility also to actually hey, listen to I am going yeah. to unfollow her. Ooh. Yes, she has a responsibility oh. as an athlete. Sorry, guys. Well, I'm going to take a controversial yeah. stance. I think that athletes should be allowed certain performance enhancing oh, drugs. Whoa. I really do think, oh, wow. especially when it comes to recovery. Maybe not leading whoa. up to the event, but when they're recovering from injury or they're in training, I mean, this is what they do. They're athletes. Mm -hmm. You know, they should be able to be the best human body performer that they can possibly and be. And the pressure to perform yeah. also, especially as a professional mm. athlete, my God. Immense. The pressure to perform is immense. And you're going to try anything you can to perform at your best at all times. This is like Viagra for athletes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, or Viagra for old men. Do you yeah. always take it there, by the way? Oh, yes. I always oh, take it there. Every time. Yes. 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 I always got to slip that in there. <laughs>
By the way, are there some, when, whenever you deal with celebrities, are there some celebrities that you feel are oversexed these days, oh. and then some that are like asexual? You don't have to name names. I but. will say that I, I'm surprised how many are are asexual. When really? You see them on the screen, or you see them on TV. It's like wow, and then you meet them in real life, and the vibe just isn't there. Right. Well, that's, that's me off great camera. Acting. <laughs> that's just great acting right then and there. Yeah. Yeah, you meet them as people as well, and so it, it completely changes your perception of them right. as well. Like, and some are warmer than others, and some are not oh. so warm and friendly or cuddly. Oh, so, uh, you interesting. Know. And that's just, you know, people so, are people. What do you think of people's obsessions with, like, the Kardashians, for example? Because they may, <laughs> they may not be the best role model, okay, so especially for women. And I don't stuff. keep up, but... Oh. Um, oh. <laughs> you don't? No, I don't like reality TV at all in general. You know what happened was? I used to love reality TV, and then the Real Housewives came to Miami. Uh -huh. and, uh -huh. and I had a problem, because I knew a lot of those girls, and they were friends of mine. Oh. And the girls that I saw on TV were not the girls that I was friends with. And I knew how manipulative reality TV can be, mm -hmm. and how they can be forced into these situations to create high drama for a show. So I realized that maybe perhaps this was not a fair representation of who these people really are in life. So therefore, I don't want to contribute to that. I don't want to take in that energy, so I don't watch any of that anymore. Wow. I love wow. that. Hey, I love Starting that. some Real yeah. House drama here. Yeah. Like Although, that. I'll admit, that was my favorite uh, version of the Royal House. And I love those ladies. I love you ladies. I, you know how much I love them. But I, the, on that show, it was just... I, oh, and there are nasty producers no, who force things on people. Are you guys I, watching The Real? That's a I, great show. Yeah. <laughs> the Real that goes behind The Bachelor. It's yes. a fictionalized account of what The Bachelor... Ten to one. I'm not... I'm, sometimes, you know, uh, fiction is stranger than truth. And, the, you know, this is uh, this is one show, I think, that's really hit the hit the hit the nail on the head when it comes to reality TV. I yeah. think it's much more, we're being much more manipulated as an audience than we ever can think possible. Well, we like manipulating our audience all the time. <laughs>